In the Los Angeles Times, Jean Guerrero presented a subtext to the film's feminist exterior in which a world that disregards men and their feelings is an inverted form of patriarchy and also cruel and added the film is a rare product of mainstream culture that invites men to reimagine masculinity for their own sake it acknowledges the identity crisis and loss of hope economic promise and life purpose among american men these struggles are often ignored by progressivists but conveniently and poisonously exploited by white wing may influencers from andrew tate to josh hawley the film's reception has focused on its messages of women's empowerment but what it makes it a radical story is that it also invites women to reimagine feminism so that it doesn't ignore male struggles nicholas velasquez contended in psychology today that barbie provides a relatively nuanced portrayal of masculinity in two cases that resonated with issues and concerns frequent in cl clinical psych psychology excuse me and therapy in the first case which concerns with the overvaluation of a a woman's gaze and attention on male sense of self-esteem and even an existential sense of identity. Kent turns to patriarchal expression and masculine dominance over other men, women, or objects because he doesn't receive the sense of attractiveness, worth, and general self-value. He wants from Gar Barbie's gaze and attention. In the second case, which concerns the relationship to shame or existential solitude and the conversation excuse me converse conversion excuse me <laughs> conversation conversion to self as to sex as soothing when barbie approaches ken in the third act of the film for consolation he interprets it as in sexual advance and tries to kiss her which dr belasis linked to the same way that shame can quickly morph into resentment and anger here we see loneliness and accidental angst be being converted into a sex sexual plea for sex to solve and resolve these bad things. Megan Garber of The Atlantic found Ken and his journey of self-discovery mimics adolescence, describing like any teenager, Ken is figuring out who he is and trying the world's possibilities on for size, but his immaturity is not contained and this is its problem his adolescent approach to the world instead inflicts itself on everyone else garber concluded that ken embodies a core idea in the film that patriarchy is a profound form of immaturity iliana doctorman of time noted that ken's ratification resembles the men's right movement particularly in his feelings of emasculation and evangelization of the patriarchy itself. So, yeah, definitely going back to the, you know, philosophy and um, the, you know, the philosophy and what uh, Lucy Ford of the GQ wrote in her article for the film, um, that's exactly what I felt when um, both Barbie and Ken went to their own, you know, self-discovery journeys when they were when they entered into the real world. Uh, like I said, you know, Barbie, she was looking for the little girl, um, you know, Sasha. Meanwhile, Ken was going somewhere else and, you know, discovering, you know, the real world and what it has to offer and, you know, what they found you know, was something, you know, that really affected them as characters and, you know, their beliefs and, you know, and it, you know, it took a, it took a toll on them, you know, and that's exactly what I felt when I was watching this movie, you know, that 
he that Ken doesn't receive the sense of attractiveness uh, from Barbie's gaze or you know like that and you know she you know he just wants her attention and you know all that but uh, she kind of mistreated him you know she mistreats him and doesn't really take him seriously or something like that but anyway what do you guys think about this uh, yeah there have been so many topics that I have so many videos and topics that I have posted on my YouTube that uh, you know very recently on my YouTube channel just talking about Barbie you know its themes uh, analyzing all of those themes in you know and you know posting them separately um, so yeah just let me know what you thought about uh, the theme of masculinity and how it plays in this film and do you agree with uh, you know my opinion and with these art you know these critics there were you know these critics these reporters their opinions or do you um, have your own opinion um, and you see this movie in a different way let me know about it let me know all about that in the comment section below thank you so much everyone for taking your time to listening to my review uh, well not review but more like an analysis <laughs> um, I'm so used to saying that you know um, so commonly with my youtube videos but yeah just let me know about that please like comment subscribe do all of that great stuff and i will see all of you lovely people in my next video